Hey guys, um, I'm going to be reviewing Animals by Pink Floyd. Um, so, when people say, um, what the best Pink Floyd album, they often say either Dark Side of the Moon or The Wall. And don't get me wrong, they are great albums. The Wall is probably my second favourite Pink Floyd album before Piper at Gates of Dawn. But, um, I think this is on the same level. Like, the tracks are just great. Starts with Pigs in the Wing, which is a nice way to start um, an album, sort of slow, acoustic guitar. Then goes to Dolph, which is a really long, sort of 17 minute track, which is um, great. The instrumentals are great, the vocals are great. I love Pink Floyd's energy, um, and I don't think there's been another band like them. And then it's Pigs, which is another one of my favourite songs. I love the synthesizer at the beginning. Sheep, which is also great. And it ends with a prize, Pigs on the Wing, which is also great. So overall, this is, in my opinion, a very underrated album. Um, just, um, yeah, definitely go and listen to it. Um, not if you haven't really heard Pink Floyd before. Um, if you haven't heard Pink Floyd before, start. You should probably start with Dark Side of the Moon. Um, sort of um, get used to their sound. You can if you want to. I'm not stopping you. But you know, maybe if you don't really like Pink Floyd, you might like this album. It's, all their albums are really different, though. So I, I know a lot of people who hate. Um, the Barrett era, but love the rest of their stuff, which is, um, I love the Barrett era, and, um, well, I love all of their stuff, except, actually, no, that's not true, I hate a momentary lapse of reason, but um, I'm not going to go into that, but, um, so, yeah, overall, a great album, just go and listen to it, like,